Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a headcount report using the pivot table. So let me start by sharing my screen. Now, suppose you have a small employee list. I'm going to use a small employee list to show you how simple it is. All right. So in this simple uh, employee list, we have uh, 13 employees. And let's say I want to create a headcount report by department then I will have to put in, normally we have to put in the CEO department and we have to count how many CEO office uh, in here, employee are in CEO office. So we'll put two here and then we do marketing and we paste it here and then we have to count the number of marketing guys and we have two over here. And then general admin, we copy and paste it here and then we will have to count how many of general admin and there is one. Now, if you do this, of course, you can create a headcount report manually. But let me show you how simple it is when you want to use a pivot table to create the same report that I have just tried to uh, create. Okay, so uh, it is very straightforward. All you need to do is to select a cell inside the list here. Now, go to insert. Let me expand uh, my ribbon here. Okay, so insert and you can go into pivot table. Now in pivot table here, first you have to identify the range. So uh, it has um, highlighted the range for me from A1 to D14. Now, uh, instead of putting into a new worksheet, I'm going to put into an existing worksheet to show you uh, both of them side by side, the data. Okay, and the pivot table report. So I'm going to use the existing worksheet here. I'm going to put the location uh, right over here in I11. Okay, so once I've set that, I can click OK. And now I have a pivot table report here. Okay, now it is empty. So uh, to get back at this report here, it is very, very straightforward. Uh, first, we need to know the numbers. So I need to count either the employee ID or the employee name. Now I choose to use the name to count and I will drag the name over down into the submission value box. So it gave me a count of names. Okay, so there are 30 names over here and this is what you see here, all the way here, one, two, three, four, all the way here and you can see that there were 13 count, right? Now, go back to the pivot table. If I want to actually split these 13 names into department, what I need to do is to simply drag the department down to the rows and let go. And there you go. It will split down the department over here and it will give you the count of the number of people in each department. Okay. Now, to beautify the report here, uh, instead of showing row label, so what you need to do here is you can just go to uh, pivot table, uh, go to design, go to report layout, show in tabular form, and they will show you the header here as date uh, department. All right. And these are the department and this is the total count. So this is a very simple pivot table and we use this to create a headcount report. It's as simple as that. Have you managed to catch how to do it? Give it a try and drop in a comment and, and tell me whether you have successfully created your first headcount report. 